on the software side of things, uh, the G3 is running Android 4.4 KitKat with uh, LG's unnamed UI, whatever you want to call it. So, def so as you've seen from you know all the stock photos and hands-on and all that stuff previously before, it's definitely a more minimal approach, flattened icons, less blo bloatware. It's toned down, and and like every other OEM, it's pretty much uh, more aligned to look with uh, the Google standard of Android. But of course. This being LG, you can customize it way more than before. Like select your icons for you know just the default LG apps and all that other stuff. So you have a bunch of diff different things uh, that are new. So pretty much as you scroll all the way over to the to the left, and as you scroll all the way over to the right, you get access to some of their new things. Which is uh, start off with LG Health. LG Health is pretty much more their bare bones health app so it's more like s health and the galaxy s4 so it just has a a few things it's not a whole whole bunch it's more of um you know like built-in pedometer and, and and stuff like that and you know you can track your your movements and you know steps running cycling hiking hiking skating uh, but again this is a pre-release version so we're not sure what changes if any will come to the united states version so that's pretty much that about that um you still have a lot of the lg favorites which is uh you know knock on where you can just double tap to open and double tap to sleep um there's also you have a, a lot of just different things you have going you can encrypt messages on your phone that's just proprietary with lg so you have cool things like that um the knock the knock code is actually um you know just a select area is asleep you can tap to knock it on so you can it's a four you know it's only a, a, a small section it's not the entire display but it's pretty much you can create your own simon if you remember the the the, the pattern game simon you create your own type of pattern unlock rather than usual swipe gesture which is always pretty cool um also you have new is their smart keyboard which is pretty cool um smart keyboard it's kind of like Google's keyboard, which is my guess personal preference. Um, where it's it's pretty it's pretty dead on. So you can actually decide, you know, type of uh, themes, keyboard height. So if you want it here, you can make it. You know, so you can really really take advantage of the the big screen and then still have real estate to play with in regards to. Um, in regards to the rest of the screen so that's a, that's also pretty cool and then um you know it has you know gestures and all that other stuff so it's, it's actually pretty pretty cool so you also have a smart cleaning feature where it'll basically like get rid of any type of apps that you just have hanging around that that needs to go like that's taking up space and you're not using they'll they'll ask they'll pretty much kill it for you or they'll um you know, any time or temporary file. So think of it as disk cleanup. So if anybody, you know, any Windows users out there. So and then also on the software side of things, you have the smart notice. It's not quite as you can let's, let's zoom in a little bit. So it's not quite Google now. It's it's an interesting take on it. it you can do a couple things with it. You can um, so it pretty much tells you. Uh, it's more of like a, a reminder or sorts like that. So you could be like, okay, well, you need to. Like I said, it says it will rain until tonight, so you may want to take an umbrella. So it'll it'll have stuff like that according to the weather. Uh, if I had a call and I missed it, and it'll remind me, you know, don't forget to call so and so back. Um, if I have a birthday in my calendar, it'll be like, it'll remind you, don't forget to wish so and so happy birthday. So different stuff like that. So it's cool, but it's not like, so it's cool, but it's not like game changing. But again, this, it could be the start of something great. I mean, every, every great thing didn't start off great. Some things have to grow into it. So it's definitely some potential there. So definitely looking forward to seeing what else they still have there. And then lastly, you still have all the notables like Q Memo Plus, Q Slide, Q Remote, Q Voice, all the stuff that people may or may not use at your disposal. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks for watching and take care. Thank you.
Thank you.